As we move along our Lenten journey, we are hopefully going closer to God and putting our trust in Him. And this is the theme of today's responsorial psalm, Psalm 7. So let's pray it together now. The response is, O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. Save me from all my pursuers and rescue me. Lest I become like the lion's prey, to be torn to pieces with no one to rescue me. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. Do me justice, O Lord, because I am just and because of the innocence that is mine. Let the malice of the wicked come to an end, but sustain the just, O searcher of heart and soul, O just God. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. A shield before me is God, who saves the upright of heart. A just judge is God, a God who punishes day by day. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. We see this trust in the Lord and plots against prophets in both the first reading and the gospel. In the first reading, Jeremiah is lamenting, hearing from God that some up from his homeland were plotting against him. This is a portion of the first of the six passages known as the Confessions of Jeremiah. He speaks poetically about the persecution he was receiving. Let us destroy the tree in its vigor. Let us cut him off from the land of the living, so that his name will be spoken no more. But Jeremiah took refuge in the Lord and trusted in the promise of protection God made when he called Jeremiah to become a prophet. So Jeremiah called out to see the vengeance God will take, for he has entrusted his cause against his adversary to the Lord. In the Gospel, the people are divided in trusting Jesus. Some recognized him as truly the prophet and the Christ, while others did not. The guards who were sent by the chief priests and Pharisees to arrest him did not do so because Never before has anyone spoken like this man. Nicodemus poses this question to those plotting against Jesus. Does our law condemn a man before it first hears him and finds out what is he is doing? In our own life, speaking the truth about God is not always popular. It's not always received graciously or even accepted at all. But it is necessary to persevere. Like Jeremiah, through our baptism, we received through the Holy Spirit strength to fight against evil and those trying to separate us from God. When we encounter trials or believe we are not strong enough, we should cry out to God as we did in the responsorial psalm, O Lord, my God, in you I take refuge. <laughs> 